Hey guys, it's Brooke here oh, from the Vintage Gardener. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, okay, so I'm, I got a, the Lowe's pickup truck at a very generous rate, I might add. They cut, ooh, I left the lights on in this truck. Hang on, how did I do that? Ouch. How do I turn the lights on here? Um, hang on guys. Okay guys, I figured out how to turn the lights off. <laughs> a little worried there. Okay, so I was at Lowe's and how do I get this? Oh. And the manager was trying to get rid of some shrubs, um, some Arbavita, and uh, I was more than happy to take them off of his hands because I am trying to do a hedge because I've been getting trespassers from all sides. I've been getting it from the driveway. I've been getting it from the back of the property. And just yesterday I had somebody trespassing from the other side. Um, I'm not really sure why people around here don't respect people's property, but they don't. So I just got all the stuff that you're about to see for like $83 y'all, no kidding. So uh, actually let me get it out of the car so I can take this truck back to Lowe's. Oh, but I guess you guys, probably want to see what it is. So I got a mixture of regular Arborvita and the taller Arborvita. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make this whole thing work later. But for right now, got to get this off the truck. Okay guys, here they all are. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Allergies. So uh, just to give you guys more aerial view here. Uh, so I have, let me count these babies. You know what, rather than trying to count them that way, it's a lot. <laughs> um, it was a lot. So, okay, so the types of Arborvita that I got are Green Giant, which has a more open structure. And then I got um, the Emmer Green Arborvitae, which have a more closed structure. Um, in terms of height, this, the uh, giant ones get about 30 feet by 15 feet wide, but you can, you can constrain their height by placing, by growing them closer together. So since I want to hedge, I think I can grow them like five feet apart on center. Um, and so they'll get about 10 feet wide, that sort of thing. And then uh, maybe like t closer to like 20 feet tall. Uh, the emerald green arborvita, these get 15 feet high. I'll be planting these uh, four feet apart. Uh, let me go get the dog because I need to go measure and he's going to continue to bark until I... Okay guys, so I checked. I, ha I got 15, there's 15 in here total. I do have some arborvita green. I think I've got nine. So I think I bought nine today and then I it looks like I have an additional nine so that's 18 and then with the giant ones I have four additional ones so I have 10 of those so um I probably will need a, a couple of more uh but I need more of the the green so I think I'm going to put the the tall ones at the front of the property on the side and then the shorter ones at the back of the property because with what I want to do with the woodland garden. I just want to make sure I have enough space to create walkways. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, no, that's, that should be, so yeah, that's going to be, yeah, so like I said, I, I'll need a few more of the green, or the short ones, and then I should be good to go. So guys, that's it for this video. I'm going to go take the truck back and take the little pooch inside, and that's it for today's video. Hey guys, it's Brooke here from the Vintage Gardener. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I am, it is June 25th. Um, I'm actually not getting much gardening done today, this during the day. I'm gonna wait till tonight and get some stuff done in the yard because today the high is gonna be 90. Um, also today is the, uh, the gar members garden tour for the Hardy Plant Society. And so I'm going to that. Uh, so I got a bunch of plants yesterday, as always, and so I'm going to water them in because it's really hot out here. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what I have. Okay, guys, so 
yesterday when I was at Flags, because you know I love going to Flags. Okay, so I got a couple of different things. So I got two fig trees. Uh, these are called Fignominal. Um, it's a container fig, so this only gets 28 inches tall and wide, and it'll produce uh, figs in its first year. And then I got some uh, Proven Harvest Berry Treasure Red strawberries. And then I got a Prima Saffron Coneflower because I had a orange coneflower that bit the dust. So those are the new things. Um, I have, you know, other stuff over here that I need to plant, but I'm gonna go ahead and water everything in so that it'll survive the 90 degree temperature. And you know what, since we're out here, let's go check on my vegetables. Okay guys, so here are the vegetables. Um, so, got my squashes in front, and then I've got some tomatoes in the middle and corn at the back. Uh, they're starting to put on some height, so I'm happy about that. Give them some, you know, I haven't actually watered anything. Oh, you know what? I think, I, there's even peppers in there, too. I totally forgot about those. And then, let's see, over here, I've got more tomatoes, and I see some grasses coming up. So um, at the end of the season, I'm gonna solarize these beds because they're getting kind of crazy. I think the weeds have taken hold. Uh, there is some watermelon in that bed over there and I think it might've been overtaken, hang on. Okay guys, so I see the watermelon plants. Um, I'm gonna water this in here and I'm also going to pull the weeds right quick. Um, I mean, the, the watermelons are getting big, so they're, they're holding on, but I just want to give them some help. So, uh, yeah, so the vegetables are coming along a little bit slow because I put them in late, uh, but they're, oh, I see some flowers on that tomato right there, so that's good. Uh, so, you know, it's taking a little bit for everything. This year I had a slow or I should say rough start with my vegetables, but you know, they're gonna make it. So let me get everything watered in right now. Hey everyone, it's Brooke. I wanna apologize for the abrupt ending. This video is part one of two. The second part will be up bright and early on Sunday morning, and I will be reviewing all of the gardens that I toured that Saturday and give you some ideas in terms of how to address trouble areas in your garden based upon what I saw in the other members garden. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.